YOLO people, so today I have a really funny story to tell you guys and a really fucked up one at the same time. It's a true story. So we as friends, we all decide we're gonna go to Big Bear. It's winter time. We know there's a bunch of snow on Big Bear. So we decide to go at least 12 people deep to Big Bear. Well, we're all around 21, meaning everyone is from 18 to 24 years old. One of these dudes, one of these younger dudes, he's about 18, 19. He has an older brother that's a junkie, man. This guy was a fuck up in every single way. Every single possible way someone could be a fuck up. This guy was a fuck up, right? This dude used to cocktail every single type of drug under the fucking sun, man. So we knew the younger brother, we knew the older brother was like heavily in drugs, so we we were never really friends with the older brother, right? But uh, we needed multiple cars to get there and all of us had like two doors or cars that weren't built for snow and stuff. So they had like a SUV, you know, with like three, three seats and we got another SUV and another. So we went there like maybe three, four cars deep. So we get to Palm Spring, uh, Palm Spring, Big Bear and we're having a blast, man. We're all drinking, smoking, hookah, food, everything. We're just having a blast, man. Chicks are coming and going, like, just, just a fucking blast, right? And since we took their car, like, we, you know, the older brother tagged along. He's, we, he convinced us, let, let me, let's bring my older brother. He's always by himself and what, what? And we're like, okay, fuck it. Just bring him. It'll be entertaining at the least. And it was hella entertaining. So, late night, all of us are fucked up, right? He goes, everybody, I have an announcement to make. And we're all laughing. Like, this motherfucker, is he trying to call a meeting? Like, I have an announcement to make. Like, like he's fucking running for office or something, you know? Everybody in the living room, I have an announcement to make. You know, we're all laughing and clowning and we get to the living room and he goes, you guys, you guys have convinced me. Starting today, I'm quitting drugs. I'm quitting everything. And we're all looking at each other like, this motherfucker, is he really, is he saying like he's going to get his life together? We're all thinking like this dude is fucking going to get his life together. He's finally going to clean up his act. It's like, you guys have convinced me, man. No, uh, no more drugs, man. I'm quitting everything. I'm quitting crystal. I'm quitting coke. I'm quitting crack. I'm quitting cigarettes. I'm quitting drinking. I'm quitting pills. I'm quitting this. I'm quitting that. And he pauses. Strictly heroin from now on. And now we're fucking laughing like this motherfucker. Did he just say that? Strictly heroin from now on. And this dude fucking meant it, dude. And we're all fucked up high and drunk. And, and we're laughing, man. Like this motherfucker, bro. Now, at Big Bear, we got stuck in a few places, right? We got stuck in... in, in uh, in the snow, we had to put chains on the tires, all kinds of shit, man. We got stuck a few times in different places. Good thing we were with a few cars. On our way back, we, we get stuck on the freeway, man. We get gridlocked on the freeway. When, when something really bad happens, you know, and the freeway just stops, right? But mind you, on the way to us getting gridlocked, we don't take the chains off the tires. We all leave early in the morning fucked up no one wants to take the chains off this suv right and as we're driving we're starting to hear clunking noise like tuk 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 and it's getting louder and louder and louder and finally when the freeway fucking stops and i mean dead stops we we did not move for an hour and a half from our position 
the car was on park we ended up turning it off everyone is just chilling in cars the entire freeway has just stopped for hours dude so it's been an hour and a half we we take a look one of the chains is broken on the right side not one both sides like one chain of the chain that's on the tires is broke and it not only ate the inside plastic of where the tire is like that that inside plastic that protects but this thing started to make a fucking rainbow around the fucking fenders and bumpers and everything man it, it just demolished the right side of this fucking car now this younger brother this dude is like i gotta pee well bro you gotta hold it you know it's, it's like bro i need you guys to get off the fucking freeway i really have to pee we're like bro we can't even change lanes what the fuck are you talking about just take a water bottle you know go to the back of the fucking car you know just jump over the seats into the trunk and just pee in the fucking bottle bro i can't man i i, I can't and he, this guy ends up jumping to the back he tries bro i can't do it man i, I just uh, i can't we're like well you have two options bro you you either fucking piss in the bottle or you get out of get out the car and go pee on the side of the fucking freeway man everyone understands we've all been stuck in the freeway together all at the same time no one's moving just go pee on the side of the road so he gets marbles together finally because we tell him bro if you piss in this car you're, you're gonna have to walk home bro we're not we're not letting you sit on that seat even though it's your your car we're not gonna let you sit on pee on the fucking seats and just hang out you know so this guy gets his marbles together gets out the car he does this funny little run holding his dick and shit because he, he's about to literally piss himself you know and you know he zigzags lane 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 and then against the wall and as soon as he starts peeing we start honking <laughs> as soon as we start honking everybody starts honking everybody's honking and this dude is peeing and he's flipping us off and covering his face from shame and you know and the most fucked up part about this is as he's peeing the freeway fucking opens and it's starting to move and now he has to run back to the car while cars are desperately trying to fucking leave you know and like the car is doing like five miles an hour this guy dodges the chains so he doesn't get whipped by the tires chains hops into the fuck dives into the fucking car you know and we we get home and yeah that that was just an entertaining uh small vacation that i don't think any of us will ever forget and the sad part is i, I ran into this dude like five years later man at 7-eleven just going to 7-eleven he recognized me i didn't recognize him turns out man this guy ended up doing heroin as well and doing it hard looking at his face man i don't know if you guys know man but certain drugs affect people in different ways right like crystal will fuck people's minds up and will fuck their skin up and it, it, like every drug has like a call sign right Drugs like heroin, Oxycontin, that family of drugs, that heavy family of drugs, they change your bone structure, man. And this dude went from like being a handsome looking dude to half of his face looked like it was caved in, like his, his bone structure just shrank. It, it, it was sad, man. He, his, he looked like he was retarded, even though he wasn't. It was just the drugs had completely devoured a portion of his skeletal system you know and um yeah yeah that's that and for you people out there man i i know you know like us growing up man drugs were around us since we were kids i remember being five years old knowing about cocaine and knowing about heroin and all this stuff doesn't mean we used it but it was everywhere we it was just around us we knew people that were selling it. We knew people using it. 
we, we saw people die off it. We saw people overdose, kill themselves, everything, right? For you people that are doing heavy drugs, man, don't wait until you burn down all your fucking bridges. Your family hates you. Your dog hates you. Your goldfish doesn't want to look at you. You know, don't wait until you've hit rock bottom where the life you're living has completely slapped you and backhanded you and stomped you out and left you to dry butt naked. Don't wait until you hit rock bottom to that point, man. If you want change, go turn yourself into a place, sober up, and then from that point on, just day to day, like the saying goes, how you eat an elephant, one bite at a time. So just tomorrow, I won't do drugs today, tomorrow. And then when tomorrow comes, you say not today, tomorrow. And when that day comes, not today, tomorrow. Keep pushing it on to the next day. Like people that go and get their, become a doctor in brain surgery. They go to school for like 12 years. They're not thinking, holy fuck, I have 12 years of school. They're thinking, okay, I have school tomorrow. And then they go to school. And then that day, they say, well, I have school tomorrow. And then they go the next day. And then the next day. And 12 years later, they're fucking doctors. So please, get help, man. Don't don't, don't wait for your life to become a complete fucking mess. Because it, it, it only gets worse. Even when it's good it gets bad even when it's great it's not so great I've seen it in people I've I, I have first had accounts of just I'm not gonna go into details of who's and why's but man it's fucked up all around bro. just the sooner you get help the better that way you can at least save some of your relationships you know Yeah, it's sad, man. You know, you're going to find a girl that, that does the same thing as you and you're going to be feeding off them. You're going to find friends that do the same thing. And it's going to be a cycle of just tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll quit. Tomorrow, I'll quit. And you never quit for like 10, 20 fucking years. Today is the day. Today. Just fucking go sober up and take it one day at a time. That's That's... That's the best advice I can give to you guys, man. Because it's not pretty on the other side. So, solo, yolo, bolo, peace.